Rihanna is officially a billionaire. In this video, we'll talk about how Rihanna turned her accounts from zero to millions. Let's jump into it. Rihanna shines bright like a diamond or several diamonds. The multi-hyphenate star is now a billionaire. Robin Rihanna Fenty is an extremely talented musician, actress, and businesswoman. She was born on the beautiful island of Barbados in 1988. She grew up in a small bungalow with her two younger brothers and her parents. But how did a simple girl from Barbados turn herself into a billionaire? The latest Rihanna news, once again, has nothing to do with her long-awaited next album, but with her status as a beauty and fashion mogul. She's a billionaire now, according to Forbes. Rihanna always loved music and grew up singing songs from reggae artists like Bob Marley. She was discovered by an American producer, Evan Rogers, and just two years later, she signed to Def Jam with Jay-Z. Her hit single, Punk of Replay, kicked off her music career, and from there, she continued working hard to get to the top. Though her music career has been successful, the majority of her riches comes from her business ventures. She released her first album, Music of the Sun, in 2005. Since then, she's released seven more albums, most recently Anti, which came out in 2016. She's now sold over 60 million albums and won eight Grammy Awards and has earned millions from her music. In 2016, following the release of Anti, she took home $2.5 million for music sales and $7.6 million from streaming, according to Billboard. She's the second richest woman in the entertainment industry after Oprah Winfrey. Winfrey's net worth is $2.7 billion. Wondering how the 33-year-old musician became a billionaire? Contrary to popular belief, Rihanna doesn't make fortune from her music. However, when approached by paparazzi in New York City this weekend, the singer gave no indication that she was rattled by the news. When asked how it felt to be a self-made billionaire, she simply replied, God is good. The rest of her earnings come from her highly successful music and acting career, as well as brand endorsement deals that she's raked in over the years. Rihanna's first foray into business came in 2011, when she released her first fragrance, Rebel Fleur. The scent reportedly garnered $80 million in sales in its first year alone. She quickly followed up with another scent, Rebel, and has subsequently released nearly a dozen fragrances in total, with another on the way via her beauty brand, Fenty. Over the years, she's inked deals with fashion companies like Puma, where she served as creative director, River Island, Armani, Dior, CoverGirl, and Mac. Rihanna is also part owner in the streaming service Tidal, which has sold stakes for millions of dollars. Per Forbes magazine, her Fenty Beauty Cosmetics line is her breadwinner, bringing in an estimated $1.4 billion. Launched in September 2017, she holds a 50% stake in Fenty Beauty. At the time of its launch, Rihanna called Fenty Beauty her passion project in a speech, saying, I don't think anyone in this building is as excited as I am today. Savage X Fenty, a lingerie brand by Rihanna, has also grown her wealth portfolio. She owns a 30% stake in Savage X Fenty, which has a $1 billion valuation. While Barbados bone Rihanna isn't the only celebrity to capitalize on her social media presence, she has 101 million followers on Instagram and 102 and a half million on Twitter. To build a beauty brand, she's the most successful beauty entrepreneur to do so. Fenty Beauty, which is a 50-50 joint venture with French luxury goods conglomerate LVMH, its products come in a diverse range of colors. Foundation is offered in 50 shades, including harder to find darker shades for women of color, and are modeled in its advertising by an equally diverse group of people. Available online and at Sephora stores, which are also owned by LVMH, the products were an instant success. By 2018, its first full calendar year, the line was bringing in more than $550 million in annual revenues, according to LVMH, beating out other celebrity-founded brands like Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics, Kim Kardashian West's KKW Beauty, and Jessica Alba's Honest Co. Rihanna's Fenty Beauty empire is further expanding by dipping its toe into the fragrance industry. The brand announced it would be launching Fenty Parfum, a unisex scent inspired and created by Rihanna herself, in August. And she's even trademarked Fenty hair, so we're sure the money is sure to soar over time. When looking at her music resume, she sold over 54 million albums and 210 million tracks worldwide. 
her various brand endorsement deals, including a $25 million Samsung deal, also helped her expand her wealth. Not that everything Rihanna touches turns to gold. In February, LVMH and Rihanna confirmed in a statement to Forbes that they had shut down their other venture, a high-end fashion and accessories house also called Fenty, launched in 2019. Fenty sought to extend Rihanna's brand of inclusivity and offer styles in a range of sizes, but like many luxury fashion brands, the high-priced line suffered during the pandemic, releasing its last collection in November 2020. Besides being named a billionaire, Rihanna has spent the last couple of months enjoying nights out and filming a new music video with ASAP Rocky. So yeah, if you were a Rihanna, God would probably seem pretty good. She told to the New York Times Style Magazine, I never thought I'd make this much money, so a number is not going to stop me from working. Today, Forbes estimates Rihanna's net worth at $1.7 billion, which makes her the richest musician in the world richer than Madonna, Celine Dion, and even Beyonce. We hope you enjoyed the video. There are still many to come, so if you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications about our new videos. And don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. See you later with new videos.